Hello and thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm glad you could join us and got time for us. We've got a lovely demonstration lined up. My name's Simon Williamson and I'm here from Avagoint Designs. Um, and like I say, if you're not already, just hit the notifications, um, like and subscribe. And then that way you can keep informed with all the news and the, um, that you want to keep updated with. Um, so loads of exciting things always happening, so it's just a good way of keeping um, informed, isn't it? If you also want to leave a comment as well on below a video, it helps other viewers um, see if it's appropriate for them to watch. Uh, it's also nice to share ideas, isn't it? So we can all read them back. So thank you very much for that, and um, let's get on with the first demonstration today. So I've got a really nice purple theme demonstration, and this is going to be showing you how to create a slightly different um, background using ribbon. So we're going to thread some ribbon through there for you. Um, and also, it's just, it's just a nice easy card really to make, and it's a bit of fun as well. You could always get the kids involved with threading the ribbon as well. So let's start off. So I've already ahead of time mat and led my large square, which is going to go onto my blank there. Okay. And then what I needed to do is work out, if I move that off there, that's probably easy for you to see the little holes. I needed to work out where the ribbon needed to be threaded in and out of. And the easiest way I found of doing that is to cut a strip of card the same length. And then I folded it, as you can see on this, it's very um, folded up, you can see. So I fold it like that, and then I worked out the centre of each one of those needed a hole. And I can use that as a template then for each side, so I know exactly that they're going to line up exactly where I put them. So let's need to this last edge, so let's put that over there. You could also measure with a ruler, but sometimes you need to just have a go, don't you really, and make sure it works out for you. So let's pop that there, let's pop that there, and then I'm going to put a little pen mark in the centre of all these little holes that I've got ready. And then when I go in then with my hole puncher, I'll just... Um, Get my pokey tool, so I can see that first one. I know exactly where I need that to be, so I'm just going for the centre of those dots I've drawn, and I'm just going to go through all these. And there we go. So it's hard to see on this pattern paper I've stuck down. If I turn it over, you can see now we've got a really nice grid. There's ribbon to thread it in and out of. So let's get this ribbon on there. So I just need to cut a piece of ribbon that's going to be big enough. The way I do that is I've got four sides. So one, two, three, four. And then I give myself a bit extra. So I've got somewhere to tie. Let's cut that. Let's just start. So I'm going to start in the centre. So let's start there. I'm just going to thread in and out of all of these holes. And this is going to give us our border effect. I like using ribbon on the cards. I think it gives it a new dimension. I'm not always. Um, I don't always find it easy to like um, do a bow, if I'm honest. <laughs> so this is my way of getting ribbon onto a card without having to tie a bow because we don't get on sometimes. So let's thread that that way. I'm just going in and out of those holes. And you could alternate these colours if you want, but I'm just trying to keep it in one theme colour. I'm going to go around that other edge now. And I purposely cut the ribbon to a point so I've got a pointed end to grab. I'm just going to start from the other edge now. Just to point that a little bit so it's easy to thread. going to go down this other side so we just grid in and out of those holes this is what you want to get your grandkids doing get you to thread some of these you can have them all ready then for layering when you do your card designs i'm going to down that last this last side Yeah, 
And you could always put a bow on this if you wanted to, but like I say, I'm not that good at tying them, so I decided not to put a bow on this. I think it has enough detail without. So, up through that final one, and down there. And you can see now we've got a really nice kind of ribbon threaded border all the way around, so make sure you're happy with that. You don't need to tighten anything up. And then we're going to flip it to the opposite side, and we're going to knot this off. So, I left myself plenty there, look. Right there. Flip it round. Make sure I've got a good tight knot on there. And we'll trim them so they don't dangle out of the card. And while we've got this upside down, I'm just going to put some sticky pads on there. So we can raise it up off as card blank when I mount it up in a second. I'm going to make sure I've got plenty on there. I'm going to get a few more. Make sure there's some in the middle to take the weight. So I'm just going to take those off. It's a really simple way, though, of getting a bit of texture into your card doing this. I've got a card blank, so I'm just going to pop that into the center. And that's his first layer done of the card. I'll just get these other bits out. For the second layer, I've just got some of the same paper and the foiled background. I'm just going to map those up. Let's use a bit of tape runner. Get that into the center. I'm just going to pop that to one side for now. The next element I need now is on this card, we've got this love word going down the side. So I'm just going to die cut this out. And this is one of the Stamps by Me range. Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I'll try and put it in the comments afterwards. So I want the outer in the purple, and I want the inner in the light, light pink. Let's pop that through. It's very versatile though, isn't it? You could easily change the colours on this. And I don't think it looks that um, feminine either with it not having the bow on, so you could easily adapt this to um, characters or images that you've got in your stamp collection. We'll just get those die cuts. We've got the Wild Love. And I've got the inner bit there. So I'm just going to glue this one onto here. So uh, it's got time to grab. So it's quite chunky, these words as well. So you've got a really nice area to put your glue. Make sure we've got enough on there to grab that. And we'll just line that over its layer that we've already pre cut. And I want to glue this then onto my square blank that we've just made. So I'm going to glue that directly onto this edge just there. So we'll get that glued down and then we can give that time to set while we're doing the rest. Do it this way so we can see, make sure it's lined up. Give that a good push. I'll flip that over. I'm going to put some more foam pads on this. So I want to make this really pronounced this square. It's going to carry our lovely dinosaur in the purple tone in a second. I'll get that mounted up. Take the backing off these. Just check with my card open, so I'm going to have it that way. I'll pop that in the center. We've got a really nice card blank already taking space. So it's only needs now is as main element to go here, which is going to be our dinosaur in this case. But you could easily put like a flower there or a main image that you've got. So let's get on with the dinosaur then. So I need the stamping platform. I'm 
and I've brought just a scrap of um, watercolour card that I had. I've got our big dinosaur, so let's put him on there. Push that up a bit. I'm going to use the Versafine Black for this so I get a nice crisp image. Give that a good push down. I'm really happy with that, don't need to do it again, so let's move the ink out of the way. Make sure I've got no ink on my fingers. And now I'm going to bring in some watercolours. I'll just move a few things out of the way. Here we go. So I'm going to use a smaller brush with this so I can get more detail in. If it wants to come out. I'm just going to mix up some of this purple. Water that down a bit. I'm going to start off by just giving it a good coating of that colour. Just to build it up. Found its legs. Don't worry if there's any little white bits, because we're going to be going back over this image in a bit. Just to get some more detail in. Found its little eyes. Onto its stomach. Under its feet. So it's quite nice in them colours anyway. What I'm going to do now is go in with a deeper tone. We can pick out some areas. So I think it needs to be a bit darker around its neck. Around that. Over its back. Around its legs. The nostrils. I'm just picking out them areas that you'd expect it to be a bit darker. I'm going to go in the same purple again, but really dark. Make it quite a pure form. You see, it's a lot darker. I'm going to go onto its chest for this one. With toe nails. And I'm just going to just put a little bit more colour quite finely around those joints that you'd expect to see. So not all the way, and then maybe a little bit more around the nose. Some of the cheek. I'm happy with that. So it gives a little bit more flow to it, doesn't it, the image, rather than doing it in one solid colour. I'll move it out of the way. And I'm just going to... Blast this with a heat gun so it's dry. I don't want to ruin his artwork, do we? I'll just give that a quick dry off. Just drying its toenails. I'm just going to bring in the um, die cut platforms again. I'm just going to cut out our fella using the die that came with the um, stamp collection. I do love a die, it makes it easier, doesn't it? So we'll make sure that lines up perfectly. Push that down. And then we'll just pass that through. I 
You could always have these like carrots, a little pre water colour, couldn't you? So it's a little bit um, easier for you to assemble at the last stage. But it doesn't take that long. Nearly there. Here we go. So let's push our little character out, make sure that tape doesn't catch him. Here we go. And then I'm going to bring our card back in. And we're going to put some foam pads on the back of him. Or her. I think it is a foam pad on that its head as well. So we'll just put one across there. And then we can decide where to position it. So it could have it higher up or lower, but I want to go for it as if it's walking on this bottom corner. Press it on there. I like the tail staying out. And there you go. A really quick card. Really interesting though with that ribbon thread edge. It's just, it just gives a little bit more detail to it. Uh, and it's a really easy technique for you to use on your square mat and layers. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope you can adapt that to a style that you maybe have got at home. Um, but thank you very much for joining me and um, I will see you soon. Bye bye.